Well, hey there, and welcome to my channel. Well, you've probably been wondering how come you ain't seen me lately. It's a uh, pretty, pretty simple reason. I had a lightning strike in the yard about destroyed everything I own, plus, you know, leaks in the slab and, you know, about everything, dishwashers, hot water tanks, everything destroyed. So uh, I've been up to my you-know-what in alligators. So this, I'm doing a little short video on it, and I'm calling it, you know, the hard way to uh, get turning wood. It's a great big old uh, gum tree. It's it's good turning wood, and it's about, uh, oh, I don't know, three foot in diameter at the base. So it, it's a humdinger. Anyway, uh, you're going to have to excuse the sound in this one, and also I've got another one in the can. Excuse the sound. My uh, main camera, my JVC, it, it bit the dust, so... I've got a new one ordered, and it just isn't here yet. I don't know why it should have been. It was Amazon Prime. The two days is way up. Uh, so this camera I'm using now, uh, I use a hot shoe out there when I was filming this, and you can barely hear me. And I'm, you know, it was arm's length away from me. So the microphone portion of this camera, which is a, uh, wrote it down somewhere. Where did I write it down at? Well, I don't know. I'll get it in a second. I'll, pu I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of this uh, in in the uh, caption. Tell you the brand it is, but don't buy one. Now, right now, I'm using a lapel mic, which is really the reason I bought it, but I don't use it very often. It's got too damn many switches. In fact, I just filmed this a while ago. I turned this one on and that one on and the camera on, but I never hit the record button. So there's like four things I got to do, and that's about three too many so let me let me get this off the camera and see how it looks and we'll we'll get a, get on ahead and I'll show you the damage and we, I've got another video coming up as soon as I can get around to you know editing it and everything it's about a dog bowl so we'll see All right, about about 2 30 this morning had a hard lightning strike lots of things went out Plumber's already here. We got uh, so as we walk down the driveway, you can begin to see some of the damage. Here's a here's a good example. See the expansion joint totally blown out of the concrete right there. Limbs everywhere. They come on down here. You look down there where those spreaders are. You start to see the debris on the tree, on the on the concrete. As we walk down here, you look over there, way over there, on the ground, you can see pieces of bark way over there. See here? Now, right here, we're looking at the ground at the base of the tree, and it is tore up. Look at that root coming up. Now, look at here. Here you go. That's what the lightning hit right there. This is, uh, well, you can just see it right here. Is This may have been where it hit because see the burnt mark right there? It may hit right there, and it looks like it goes all the way through the tree. And this is a big tree. That's probably three, oh, maybe close to three foot thick. So we come around here, and this may have been where it come out right here. Look, right in this area. All the way down to the ground, and right in there. My wife used to have some flyers in there. They're gone somewhere else now. You can see here, you can actually see some bark and stuff still in the bushes over there on the ground. And we have just a pretty bad storm. There's a lightning storm. There wasn't a whole lot of rain involved. So we come back up here. Coming up the driveway. And evidently the electricity ran under the concrete. Followed the edge of the concrete or the water line that sits right out here. And it probably hit the water line and went into the house where it did extensive damage. 
I have busted water pipes in two places under the slabs, and that's what we've just found so far. This particular post right here, I've left it set just for the insurance man. If you can see the top of it, that cap gone. Well, there it is on the ground. And there's a light bulb, so it hit it and just blew it straight up in the air. And it come, came down under here. And you see, if you look close right here, you can see where the ground is sort of erupted right in this area right about here. So you come around here inside the garage. And there you can see, let me do some of that. Come down here. And you can see the uh, the plates, you know, for the electrical plug-in, which was right there. And the timer, it's, of course, it's all blown. Garage door open. There's even got the cap blown off. Appears like everything else is uh, all right. Every every breaker I had out here about blew though. So we come around here to where the uh, where the internet and the telephone hooks up right here, and it was all it was all charred inside uh, on the post. It even blew the covers off. This ground strap right here, so right there, it's all charred and it had a big old breaker box, and almost every breaker in it was blown. So that's, uh, that's about the extent of it. Of course, half the satellite dish don't work. It doesn't work up toward the shop up there. So, we got electricians and plumbers coming. All I got to say is one hell of a way to get some turning wood, isn't it? But that's a big old sweet gum if anybody needs any. Catch you later. Keep them whirling.